Yeah, Nongrata is definitely an underground institution by his uh, philosophy and by his like uh, methods to work. But I rather call it also like alternative. So artists are in society uh, because they can show to the society the alternative strategies to run this society also. Of course, uh, performance like any another art form is just a tool. So, um, but just performance in some kind of like situations where um, yeah, there is big changes in society, society changes very quickly like uh, we had in 90s totalitarian system like Soviet Union fall down, we had like had like Second World War, uh, after the Second World War where all these Vienna actionists and fluxus came out and like there is um, always this performance is kind of tool where all outer is present. You know this saying that like when you see the painting, when you see the sculpture, when um, when you have made it ready and you put it out for the audience, then um, author left, leaves the building. So interpretation is completely up to the audience and uh, you can't anymore influence the art piece. It's gonna live completely his own life. And, uh, but in performance it's a little bit different. In performance uh, you are there before the performance, actual act, and then you are there after that. So it's like I don't even separate my life from performance what I do that I think that my definitely my goal is not to make stage performances for the audience this is just a tool I use to deliver our message but is to manifest the great freedom of the human being because nowadays like um, no matter contemporary human being is a little bit disorientated in this world so this these narratives are not so clear anymore. There is like um, people kind of feel that they are not connected to the real world anymore. That's because they also use a lot of virtual reality to escape from reality. Like now this generation who are in 20s, they kind of, um, their art pieces also, they, they just like to make little small pieces of art to themselves or to their friends and they don't really, like modernists were like, wanted to change the world and give the new direction to this globe, but like they don't have this desire. So it's like we have to, if we want to run this world like we want, we have to take some responsibility. And that's because art is very good tool for that actually. That it's creative, you have like a huge force of creative people all over the world and they have the same problem. That by themselves society eats them one by one. But when uh, you work together as collective and as a network, everybody feel their importance. Museum is this kind of institutions that uh, delivers this uh, contemporary art to the audience. So this is the best place where the art world, like galleries, um, art critics, theorians, they can explain to people this uh, kind of back backside of the art so it's like if people people need to learn this visual language step by step so this museum is like educational like a school educational institution to teach people this visual language all these museums what we have they are they don't really they are not very effective they kind of stay in their own structures and their network is very limited they're like maybe their art mm, concept is a little bit like out of time so this kind of contemporary art museum in his but really i go behind this word like contemporary that we have to find new ways how to deliver art to people because after internet came to this world art world is completely lost his position in in the society like when even andy War andy warhol is the last artist that everybody knew they were like art people or intellectuals or just man behind the shop corner drinking like vodka he knew who is like Andy Warhol but nowadays we don't have this kind of artist it's like just fell so little parts all this this world and this art is just very little tiny segment in this world so it's like art world should really like take their museums and all their knowledge, know-how and put it together and work out as scientists completely new way to deliver this universal language that is called art.
to the audiences.